Hi everyone, greetings to another live Facebook event. I'm Terry Naturally, and for those of you who don't really know who I am, I'd like to help educate those out there that may not realize that everything we do every day is by choice. And 98% of all of our diseases, all of our diseases, are influenced by our choices. The food we eat, or the food we don't eat, or the amount of exercise we take. How much sleep do we get? How much excessive alcohol do we drink? Do we smoke? Are we burning the candle at both ends? You know, we shape our health. Drugs do not. Drugs do not cure anything. They don't promote health. And doctors don't as well. Our body needs vitamins and minerals and other molecules that influence our health more effectively, safer, without side effects, not needing other drugs to compensate the side effects of the first drug. So you and I have more influence of our health than anybody else. Now, maybe we haven't heard that before, so we don't realize where our health comes from. Our health does not come from the roll of the dice. It does not come to, we don't get bad health because we are unfortunate. God's not mad at us. We influence our health every day. Every choice we make, it influences our health. And I was very unhealthy in my younger years. And I had three angels over a period of time. A Catholic priest, a woman who owned a health food store, and a captain in the Marine Corps changed my life at different periods of my life. And I have been so grateful for what they have done for me that I just can't, I want to be an angel to somebody else. Maybe it's only one person. Maybe it's a lot of people. I don't know. But since that time, I really wanted to help educate about vitamins and minerals. So I have a website called TerryTalksNutrition.com. On my website, you can read all of my past newsletters, or you can subscribe to my newsletter. It's a weekly newsletter. It goes out every Friday. I do a radio show Saturday and Sunday, 8 o'clock till 9 o'clock Central Standard Time, which originates in Green Bay, Wisconsin. But it's live streamed to my website, so you can listen via your computer anywhere around the world by adjusting your times if you want to be on the same time we are for the live show. Otherwise, they are archived there as well. So you can listen to my radio show. You can read my newsletters, all at your convenience, not on a schedule. So I'm here just to share information with you. I don't have all the answers. Other people still have other answers as well. But you have to take piece and bit from here and there to put it together to give you the best program for yourself. Diet, food is our best medicine. You'll never get away from having a, the best diet possible. You can't take supplements, you can't take drugs and outrun a bad diet. It's not possible. And what I'd like to share with you a little bit today about a really powerful molecule, not a vitamin and mineral, but it's a molecule it's called CoQ10. CoQ10 is a very interesting, it's a very powerful antioxidant. It's a very powerful substance to support the whole entire cardiovascular system. It has a variety of benefits. And I'll share that with you, but I want you to know that, for example, I may not hear, I may not cover all the things I want today because it's a short period of time to cover everything about CoQ10. There are books written on CoQ10. But I have written a newsletter on CoQ10, and this is the kind of newsletter that you'll get every week on a different subject that helps to educate more about various vitamins and minerals, other nutrients, herbal, botanical medicine, all kinds of things to keep you up to date. Maybe you want to know more about CoQ10 after I sign off. Well, this is the kind of information you would get. It's a four page on CoQ10. Now, just to give you a rundown, because it's called Prevent Disease with CoQ10. And what it's going to prevent and also help to reverse 
There are many reasons why we should use CoQ10. First of all, it prevents blocked arteries. It prevents reoccurrence of heart failure. It controls blood pressure, inhibits progression of Parkinson's disease. It relieves migraine headaches and very, very effectively. It preserves oral and gum health, promotes healthy aging and exercise recovery, and reduces damage caused by statin drugs. CoQ10 is manufactured in our liver and other organs of the body. In fact, it was first discovered at the University of Wisconsin in Madison, Wisconsin, in the heart of a horse. CoQ10, manufactured in the body. I always think that if the creator of our body instilled a way to increase the absorption or increase the absorption and manufacturing of a substance, it must be very critical to the function of the body. We don't have to look for an outside source. We don't have to eat a certain food. We don't have to take a certain vitamin. The body already manufactures that. Now, many, many people that are on statin drugs, blocking the manufacturing of cholesterol, which is done by an enzyme. So they block the enzyme with a drug, so it reduces the amount of cholesterol that's manufactured. But that same enzyme that reduces the manufacturing of cholesterol is also there to increase CoQ10. So now the enzyme, when it's blocked, you do not produce CoQ10. And both those are critical for heart function. Yes, cholesterol is still beneficial for the heart. And CoQ10 is the, one of the best molecules for heart and cardiovascular systems. So they're very important for one another. And they're made by the same enzyme system. They have a, almost a synergistic effect. So when we have a blocking of the cholesterol, blocking the CoQ10, we have side effects. And primarily muscle pain, wasting of muscles, the atrophy of muscles. That's all due to a lack of CoQ10. So there's about 30, 40 million people in the U.S. that are taking statin drugs, and many of them are experiencing side effects that are primarily due to a lack of CoQ10. So by taking CoQ10, we'll improve all the cardiovascular functions, help manage blood pressure, and all the other things that we have talked about uh, previously. It's a critical, critical nutrient that we have. I take it every day. I take anywhere from maybe one to 200 milligrams a day. You don't have to take a lot if you take the right one. There are several forms of CoQ10. There is ubiquinone, which has been out on the market for about 20 to 25 years. There's more studies on ubiquinone than any other form of CoQ10. And it's still, there are still many uh, medical doctors and scientists I know that I've talked to. They still like it better than the new form that they have come out with, as they say, is the more biologically active form called ubiquinol. It's not stable, it is more difficult to work with, and it's twice the price. So many of these doctors have said, hey, I've had fantastic results for 20, 25 years on ubiquinone. I don't see any better benefit with ubiquinol. So they're staying with the original form of CoQ10. But now all forms of CoQ10 are very difficult to be absorbed. There is a new form of CoQ10, which is blended with a starch that's produced from a vegetable through an enzyme process that increases the absorption of CoQ10 by eight times, 800%. So you might only need 100 milligrams, maybe in some cases 30 to 50 milligrams when you multiply it by eight you could be getting up to 800 milligram dosage range biologically, bioavailability. So you have a tremendous effect with CoQ10. So think about using CoQ10 for a variety of reasons. And I'll tell you, I have a young lady that was probably in her 30s, experiencing two or three migraine headaches a month. Started on 100 milligram, just one a day. And within a few months, she wasn't experiencing migraine headaches. Now, I've talked to her lately, she's maybe once in a great, great while, maybe one every three months or four months, 
but that's a very powerful impact. And people that are having all these kinds of, you know, it's a very powerful antioxidant. And I saw some really good research on Parkinson's disease, which doesn't have a whole lot of success with using vitamins and minerals. But remember, your health is created by what we, you and I do. I'm not pointing fingers at you. I'm in the same boat. What I do every day influences who I am, my health, and the way I am able to live my life. When I was in my younger years, I had severe depression, severe hypoglycemia. I was high, grossly overweight. And now I feel fantastic. I work out. I, I work 14, 15 hours a day. Um, you know, I'm reading constantly on research, on new products. I travel all the world. Well, I did that before COVID. Traveled all over the world looking for new, new ideas, talking to scientists, going to medical conferences, getting more information. And all I'm trying to do, and I know you don't have time, and you don't want to sit on the computer all day on a scientific website looking at research. That's boring. I love it. But it's boring for a lot of people, so you may not get all this information. So all I'm trying to do is transfer that information and in a very basic language, because that's all I am myself. I love the basic language. What does it mean to us in a friendly manner? How can we make big changes in our life? How can we do something with, with CoQ10 and curcumin and, and andrographis? How can, we, how can we make big changes in our life? And we can do it. It's our responsibility. And in fact, start with diet first. That's the first place you want to make the biggest change. And my idea, and I do it, I follow the ketogenic diet. The ketogenic diet reduces all the carbohydrates and sugar that turn to sugar that has a huge impact on our body. And I'll tell you what, you know, you'll not get fat eating fat. And fat does not cause heart disease or strokes. But being fat causes heart disease, heart attacks, and strokes. And why do we get fat and how do we get fat? eating carbohydrates and sugar. We eat so many calories of carbohydrates and sugar, they can't be utilized for energy, so they're stored. All that calories are stored, and it's stored in the form of fat. And if you have a large abdominal cavity, abdominal, let's say a beer belly or a wheat belly or a bread belly, that's the most dangerous kind of fat that causes heart disease and strokes. So we can change that by just changing our diet, changing the type of food we're eating, becoming more healthy, and then start using things to prevent disease like CoQ10. Now going to my website, all you have to do is search for any idea you want. If you want to, if you want to search CoQ10, um, arthritis, um, thyroid function, anything you want to learn more about, put it in the search section of the e-newsletter section and you'll get four or five newsletters that talk about that in some form. So you have that all available to you and it's all free. I don't charge for my website because somebody changed my life. I only hope I can change somebody else's life. We can, no matter how old we are, what age we are, what conditions we are in, and you know the body is very, very forgiving. We can spend decades destroying our health and reverse that sometimes in just months by doing the right thing. If we make those changes, you can have a remarkable life ahead of you. So I want to thank you for being here today with me. I want to remind you that remember food is your best medicine. Fill in the gaps of the food that we aren't getting the best possible with supplements, vitamins and minerals and other botanical medicines instead of drugs. Let's use the alternatives, which are safer and as effective as drugs, if you get the right quality of supplements. So with that, my friends, thank you for listening. Thank you for joining me. And I'll be back very soon with another Facebook event. And God bless you. And God bless America.